Bull Mastiff and Rottweiler are two large breeds that belong to the Mastiff family. They are powerful, alert and magnificent in appearance. If you are looking for the best breed and you are not sure whether to get Bull Mastiff or Rottweiler, today in this video we will tell you which breed is the best option for you. Stay with us. Hello guys. Welcome to another video from the Animal Planet Adventures channel. Before starting make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, it gives us a lot of energy. Without further ado, let's get to the video. Number 1. Appearance. The Bull Mastiff is a large breed of dog but quite a bit smaller than the English Mastiff, which is a giant breed of dog. The females of the breed are usually a bit smaller than the males and will reach 24 to 27 inches tall and weigh 100 to 130 pounds. This breed looks chunky because he has a very broad neck and chest to support his power and strength. His face looks like a bulldog with a black mask covering his nose and down the face to the muzzle. He has small and dark ears. Bull Mastiff's paws are very large and the legs are very thick while being straight in the front legs and angled in the back legs. The Rottweiler is a large breed of dog that weighs in at anywhere from 80 to 135 pounds and tops out his height at 22 to 27 inches at the shoulder at maturity. The Rottweiler has a strong and muscular body with a long tail just like the Bull Mastiff does. However, working Rottweilers usually have their tails docked when they are only a few days old. Rottweilers have a short coat, but he is double-coated with a thick undercoat and a smooth outer coat. The Rottweiler has a distinctive coloring of black with rust highlights on his muzzle, legs, chest, and two expressive spots on his eyebrows to give him a very interesting and intelligent appearance. Number 2. Temperament. In owning a Bull Mastiff puppy, you should invest a lot for his training. He needs to learn how to properly socialize with others and help him understand that aggression can only be shown in particular events such as when an intruder gets in the house or a family member's safety is risked by a stranger. At home, he is gentle and playful. It takes an average of 18 to 20 months for him to fully mature, so you'll get to experience a mischievous young dog for quite some time. If around kids, make sure you supervise their interaction to avoid any accidents from happening. The Roddy's temperament is quite similar to the Bull Mastiff. He's quirky, funny, and awfully friendly towards kids in the family. He's not that afraid to show a different side of him which attracts many dog lovers worldwide. However, his personality dramatically changes when he faces a stranger. More so, if it's an intruder. Naturally, this dog will bark so loud that it can be enough to terrorize the burglar. Some cases report that the Rottweiler may opt to attack. This largely depends on how trained he is as a guard dog. Number 3. Exercise. When it comes to exercise, you shouldn't be fooled by the Bull Mastiff's physique. Despite looking muscly, he doesn't need to be given intensive drills. A two-hour daily exercise is enough to keep him fit and healthy. Often, Bull Mastiff owners resort by simply taking their dogs outside for a walk. They also indulge their buddies in a game of fetch which must be done within a secure area. Rotties are prone to obesity since hypothyroidism is a common disease for this breed. When they gain too much weight, it's just necessary that they undergo regular exercise. Allocating two hours per day will be enough to keep the weight down and at the same time make him happy and stimulated. Be creative when you help him steam off so he won't prefer lazing around on the couch. Either take him to the pool or simply throw the ball as far as you can in a fenced area and let him fetch it. Which dog breed is best for you? Both the Bull Mastiff and the Rottweiler make great family pets and they are much alike in many manners. It should be stressed that you will want a puppy so it can be properly trained and socialized. Adult dogs of any breed can be aggressive if they are trained without positive reinforcement, lots of praise, and treats. Both breeds are similar in size and weight and have about the same amount of yearly costs associated with them. Your newfound friend should go to the vet when he is a puppy and get all of his vaccines on time. No matter which of the two breeds you decide on, they both make great additions to your family and will love to be part of your pack. 
Thank you for watching the video so far. Don't forget to like and subscribe.